Hi everyone, Marian Emerson here, showing you a really simple but effective design um, using my new favourite stamp set from Pure and Simple. I just love this. Am, am I allowed to say I love it? Because it is mine. I hand drew it, so I'm really proud of that fact because I'm actually pretty rubbish at drawing. Um, <laughs> so I was really chuffed with that. Um, but yeah, just a, a really simple design. So as I say, I'm using the Feather from the Feverit stamp set. I'm gonna be using the Wow Opaque Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder, along with the Wow Embossing Pad and the twilight from Catherine paula i will be linking everything that i've used as well so just to make it easier for you um i'm also going to be using this little sentiment from the smile often stamp set so let me just get things out the way so we've got a little bit of room i've got my little strip there of card now for those of you that don't know i like to use the wow um, wow Embossing Powder's Superior Smooth Cardstock. It comes in A4, which is English for those American and people elsewhere in the world watching. Um, welcome. That I cut it down in half lengthways and then I just fold over so I've got a tent fold style card. And I just find this stands so nicely and it takes a lot of weight as well. It's a 250 GSM. Um, I do apologise about the state of my hands. I've been working on things this morning. Um, so I've got that folded and I've also cut a panel which is just slightly smaller than the base card. So I'm just going to put that aside. Let's just move that over there. And first thing I'm going to do is take my feather stamp and I'm just going to ink up with the Catherine Paula twilight absolutely love this ink i just love catherine paula inks they're just so nice and i'm just gonna take that and then with catherine paula ink she recommends that you once you put it down you hold it down for a few seconds um and i do use a misty a lot <clears throat> and i saw a lovely lady on YouTube, and I'm so sorry I've forgotten her name, P Pula, or, oh, I can't remember now. Um, but she, just just look up Chucky, Handmade Chucky. Um, and I just followed her instructions and made one. Oh my goodness, it was so simple to make, and it just works so good. I love it. So I do use it for my Misty, but I've been using it for this as well. So stamp one there. And then I'm just gonna ink up again. Just get a nice lot of ink on there. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a little tickle. And then I'm just gonna stamp this one there. So again, it's just nice using this thing because it's like you're not having to use your hand for all the pressure. Okay. Lovely. Right, so I'm just going to clean that off to get rid of that. And then I'm just going to dry it on my jeans because I want it to be dry. I want this to be dry as well before I do anything with the embossing powder because if I don't, then the embossing powder is going to stick to everything. And one thing I want you to notice with Catherine's inks they go on a lot darker and then as they start drying, can you see this one is getting lighter already? So never sort of panic when you first see it. You think, oh, there's loads and loads on there. It, it's absolutely fine. So <clears throat> just going to set that aside. I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper and just fold my card over onto it and then I'm just going to go direct from the ink pad onto the card base and I'm just going around I just want to get some colour on the edge so this is to make it look like there's another layer on there but it's not and it's going to fit in perfect with what we've already stamped so the colour's going to work perfectly with it 
and then I'll just go over here and I only need to do a little bit because once my panel's on there you're only going to see a little edge so let me just put that there and turn that over so I'm going to set that aside I'm going to get that to to dry as well um I'm also going to where have I got a bit of tissue let's have a little bit of tissue and I'm gonna just make sure that I've just got a little bit of powder on here I'm just dabbing that over because I don't want any of the um embossing powder to stick to where I don't want it to stick to basically so I'm going to take my embossing ink pad I've still got my feather on my ink block I'm going to ink it up <clears throat> and I'm going to line this up but I'm not actually sticking it down I'm just hovering above at the moment so I line it up and then once I see that I'm in the right position I then just shove it over a little bit so not loads, I don't want lots, I want it to look like there's a little shadow coming out from there. Get that on there. And then I'm going to take my embossing powder. And I would always recommend you use an opaque powder for this technique. You could use translucent, but obviously if you use translucent, the colour from underneath is going to show through. So it, it could be a whole different look. I haven't tried it actually. I need to try that. Oh, picking up the wrong one. Um, yeah, no, I should try that and see what a translucent would look like. Okay. Let's ink that up. And again, I'm just going to line it up. Give it in the right position and then just shove it over a bit. Give that a little squeeze down. More opaque bright white. Super fine. Actually, while I've got the opaque bright white out, I might as well do my little sentiment. So I'm going to put my feather back in its position and then I'm going to use the Smile Often stamps and I'm going to do the To My Fabulous Friend. Now this is an incredibly small stamp. The font is teeny tiny, absolutely teeny tiny. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, I have another cunning plan. So I'm just gonna stamp that down. I don't wanna squidge it too hard because of how small the font is. I'm just gonna a little bit on there. I've got a tiny little bit around the edge, so I'll just take that off with a brush. Considering it's on black cardstock, I'm quite pleased with that because black cardstock is notorious for everything sticking to it. So just take a, make sure it's a dry brush and just touch it. This is before you heat set it and then just give it a little blow. There we go. Right, so now I'm going to heat set it. Uh, I will take my brush. <laughs> so that can sit there. These I'm going to heat from underneath. So I just hold it in one position until I see it start changing. There we go. 
If you see smoke coming off, that's absolutely fine. That's just burning off the ink, the pigment in the ink that's on there. It's not going to catch fire. I'm just going to go along, make sure I get all of that. And just give it a little zap on top. And can you see how nice and pow this has gone now? So that matches that perfectly by doing it like that. I'm just going to cool this down. And then let's stick some double-sided tape to it. Just go around all four edges. Okay, and then just start pulling this off. You don't have to use grey. I used grey because I wanted it to look like a shadow. If you haven't got a grey, but you still want that look and you've got a black ink, then just ink up, ink it up in black, stamp it off on a bit of scrap paper. And then when you stamp it again, so like a second generation stamp, it will come out a grey colour. Okay, let's stick that down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then let's get some little foam pads. I've already cut these down to size. And we'll stick that on. And then I'll just finish off with a few sequins. And I'm gonna go clear. So let me just pick up some. Let's just put, and I like clear on there because it just, it doesn't detract from it, but it just adds that little bit of sparkle to it. Let's go for three down here. I'm only putting them in position and then I'll glue them in a moment. These are meant to make it easier, these things, and I'm just getting a right old pickle with them. Let's go another one. And two. Oh, they're just so lovely, these little iridescent ones. These are called Mardi Gras. Because, well, because look, <laughs> the colours are just beautiful. I might go three on there. Okay, so let's just add a little bit of glue. Told you it was a really quick and simple card. So let's, let's go up here a little bit more. I'm sure there's a knack to this using this little tool. I just don't think I've mastered it. What's it called? It's the Tanto by Crystal Ninja. And um, yeah, people were sort of raving about it and I thought, oh, I've got to have one of them. But I'm just not that great with it. There's, yeah. I don't know if you meant to pick it up, put it down. Lift it off. See, this bit takes longer than the rest of the card, I think. Last one. There we go. Let's just clean that off. Put my little lid on. And there you go. Just really simple and effective. And what I was going to say is if that didn't work, then I could have just stamped it on a strip of white, 
in black ink and then put that behind the black bit of card behind so I could have still used that. So there you go. Just lovely, lovely little stamp sets using the Feverit stamp and the Smile Often with some opaque bright white, super fine, um, and the Twilight ink from Catherine Paula. So thank you very much for watching um, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks guys.